Today I'm going to show you an upper body workout that you would typically do at a gym in your own living room. This is awesome. This is groundbreaking. We're going to be hitting chest. We're going to be hitting back, your lats, your rhomboids, your front, your post delts, your anterior deltoids, you know, so your shoulders, so, and your biceps and triceps. I know I don't want to leave those out because that's what's going to probably make people watch this. So anyways, this is a great at home workout using bands. Um, my name is Brent Kazma. I've been doing this for over 17 years now, and I want to show you a little bit of creativity that I use well, typically when I'm on vacation, but right now, guess what? Everybody's stuck at home, so all these workouts can be done in your house. So, all right, I got a couple bands. I got some bar stools set up. I got a bow suit ball. Do you need all this stuff? No. Um, the bar stools obviously make it nice for the chest dips we're going to do. The bow suit is going to keep your body elevated so that way you can hit a uh, chest dip if you need to. You can also use, you know, couch pillows. You know, I want, don't want to take away all your creativity of what you would come up with to get some of this stuff. So definitely, you know, let me know what you're using. Um, so we're going to start off with chest flies. I'm going to wrap this on this bar, so this is a power rack, but you guys can use your um, banister at your house or something sturdy. You know, don't hook this onto something that's not too sturdy. Uh, typically, I would use a banister wherever I'm staying uh, for chest flies. So chest flies can be done like this. So if you're standing up high, you're just going to go out and around, chest fly. Okay? If you have something low. Hey, Brett, I don't have something high. Guess what? Hook it down low like you have it, but now you can do it from your knees or sitting on your butt. So chest flies, just hook the thing low, and that way you can still get your chest flies in. The reason I have the bar stools here is for dips. So you're going to go into your dips. Obviously, this is nice because these ones pivot, so it's going to take a lot of stability strength. You know, so if you do, if you're not used to um, doing dips, there's a couple ways to do this. So you want them about, you want it the width of your body. So, you know, apart, you're going to put your hands on it. If you're new to this, you can keep your toes on the ground, let your legs help you to support you. If not, you can pick those up, go right into your chest dips. Brett, I don't have bar stools, but I do have that band you recommended. So, guess what? You're going to put this stability ball right here. You're going to keep that band that you had down low you just did your chest flies with, right? So now we're going to come out here in front of the stability ball, pop a squat. This helps keep your body arched up. And we're going to go right into a chest dip. Like I've stated in previous videos, if you need more weight, just double your bands, okay? So chest dips, so just wrap both bands around to do your chest dips, okay? The next one is a pullover. So a pullover, keeping that same band down low. You're going to walk out, see how it's in front of me. I'm going to sit down, and we're just going to flip over. You want your body aligned with the actual band so that way you're not off to the side. And just stretching it, pulling over. Just like so. So stretch it back, pull it over. If you want to engage your abs and make your abs work a little harder, keep your feet up. And that way you get your abs involved also. All right. This is where I'm getting creative. Also, so for your lat pull downs, you'll back up. What is this crazy guy doing? You're going to lay down on your stomach. And we're doing our pull downs. It's our wide grip. Lat pull down. Okay? Same thing, if you need it to be heavier, just hook the two bands around the thing. If you don't know what that means when I'm saying it, we'll take two bands, because usually you buy packs of them with different strengths. And if you're following the link that we send you, you would just take like that. So wrapping your two bands, that way you have them just like so. All right, now we are going to our rhomboids. <clears throat> so we're going to go right into, here we go, face pulls. So post outs. We're going to go right like this, criss 
cross them. So you're going to grab opposites. And you want to keep your... Woo! So to, <laughs> if you have a tight band, you're going to want to put a foot forward to help keep that stability so you don't fall forward. You're just pulling up. Elbows out. Pulling it. Your hands right beside your ear, eye, level. Um, keeping your elbows out. Next one is a row. So you just back up. This is another one that you probably want for a strong one. So you would do a double band. So right here for a row. For your cable rows. What are the next two? I forgot. So we got cable rows. Let me check here. Got the post delts and our front raises. So we got so post delts, same thing, bands hooked on here. This is gonna go straight out to the side. So this is not a strong exercise. Your elbows are not completely straight, but you want them slightly bent, straight out to the side. So that's your post out. Same thing, you're just using that banister, using something that's anchored down, you know, so that way it's you know fairly tight. You can use all kinds of different things. You know, that's the first thing I do is I walk around and find something. Obviously, all these ones are fairly low to mid-level. And then the last one is a front raise for this circuit. So I have this around one foot, plant it on the ground, I wrap it around the arch or I'm standing on it around the arch and going straight forward with them. See how I do all the extra, you're not, you're not, this is not supposed to be done super fast just because of the band. You want to control it, feel your muscles engage, and that's your front raise. All right, our last circuit is biceps and triceps. We're doing them double down. So. What we're doing is we're going to go first off into a concentration curl. There's two ways to do this. So one is hooking it up high. So you can do a concentration curl around the banister like this. You're going to do it up high. Keeping your arms straight, going straight to your head. The second one would be down low. If you have a low banister, you're going to step up under, over top of the band and your elbows resting on your arm. And you can do them just like this, like a concentration curl. Okay? This is followed right with. So once you do both arms, you're going to go right into a regular curl. So there's your double bicep. Now for triceps, you're going to do the same thing. Keeping it down low. We're going to start off with a kickback. Tricep kickback. And you can leave it there or you can stand on it and go over your head for your overhead tricep. And this is a good one because you can do it this way too. You can lay the whole band on the ground, step on it, and you can that way you can change the length of the band um, to whatever you desire to do. So all these exercises, like I said, with the band. So this is your at home upper body workout in case you forgot. We're hitting chest, lats, rhomboids, middle back. You know, you're hitting all areas of your shoulders. So your post delts and anterior delts. Uh, we got biceps, triceps, you know, so this is a great at-home workout that you would normally do at the gym with dumbbells and plates and machines, all with a band. Again, I'm Brent Casmer, 17 years of experience giving it to you guys. All that creativity that I typically would do on vacation, you know, giving this to you guys so that way you can do it at home due to the circumstances. So keep keep following.